What we have here is a 2010 Fleetwood Quest 24L and it is a on a, a Sprinter 3500 chassis, the world famous Sprinter chassis. It's going to do a brief walk around. I'm not a professional at this, so just bear in mind as we walk around the vehicle itself. And then we'll start the generator up and show you a little bit about the inside of the vehicle. It's been a great RV for us. Been really blessed by it. It has a Sprinter ride, uh, a seat that we installed in it too. It's a air ride seat. We also had so many upgrades. We added the uh, brush cutter, excuse me, the brush guard on the front, and we added Konai struts and shocks on it as well. And I'm an AMSOIL dealer, so it's been AMSOIL twice a year. We have uh, they had the oil changed. Uh, you will look at the Carfax report. You will see an extensive vehicle history done at a Dodge dealership that services Sprinters. These are brand new Goodyear. All four tires on them. It was $900. We just put those on. The walk around the vehicle. That's the outside shower. And this is this RV is a fantastic RV. We also have load stabilizers in the back of it as well as also in the front to help with the load. We have a brand new Hellwig um, sway bar in the back too as well. All lights and everything works as it should. It's an excellent RV. It also has a, a manufacturer's warranty, Dodge warranty, still left. We have a year and a half left on the Dodge warranty, which was purchased additionally uh, with the RV. So you can go to any Dodge dealership to have any mechanical or electrical issues uh, addressed. That's the water fill. And the generator only has 65 hours on it, as you can see. The vehicle does have a couple of imperfections, a couple of the stripping of the paint, just small ones. I did list that on the picture. I did the best I could with that. Walk around the vehicle. And I'll go inside and start it up for you in a moment. Please forgive me if my camera is... It's kind of hard to do this with a cane in one hand and a camera in the other. So I want to start it up here. Miles, there's 44,124 miles. As you can see, the next service is next service date is. 51,357 so have about another 6,000 miles until the next service like I said before I'm an Amsoil dealer so when we first got the, the RV not quite three years ago we had all the oils all the floats taken out and replaced with uh, with Amsoil okay as we walk back towards the back of the the coach itself I'm going to start up the generator So you can see the generator. There's the generator. You can see all the fluids. The auxiliary, we just put two brand new auxiliary batteries in it last year. The main's completely full. The propane's completely full. And we just got through emptying the black water, the gray water, and the f and just added fresh water to it as well. See, it has a TV set on it, which, which we have only used one time just to make sure it did work. And this was a bed up front. Let's turn the lights on here. Please forgive me if I'm kind of going all over the place. It's my tent. It does have a tank heater. It also has a LP gas heater um, if you're going to do some winter camping too as well. It has that availability. Turn the lights on as we go. Uh, these cab lights on, the entry lights, please forgive me. 
the step lights and the porch lights. You can turn all those on too as well. Okay. making me sick with the video but I just want you to see that everything is working as it should just turn that light on let me see so you can see it has a Dominic refrigerator and freezer which work excellent it'll run both all gas or electric be whatever you have you plugged into just an excellent excellent uh, there here's your we have our sink and this folds out this is the rear back uh, you can get four people with seat belts back here and right here is the table for it and inside that that those are the those in the lamplighter <laughs> one of the lamplighter ministries audios in the back there and uh, those are the for the seat itself it does have a full stove and burner you have able to bake something as well as a brand new faucet we just put on it and the this is a slide out this area here is a slide out this area completely here slides out this is the uh, bed which also uh, fo folds out into a nice uh, full-size bed as well everything works as it should in this coach it's a wonderful coach it's been a blessing to us and uh, we hate to uh, sell it but uh, fortunately due to health concerns we must there's the AC unit everything works fantastic on this entire coach as I said before we have maintained it when you go on to uh, the, the Carfax you'll see an extensive maintenance history on it we've uh, in fact we just put a new turbocharger on it too as well it has so many upgrades that we have done to it personally uh, it, it's just a wonderful coach and you'll be really blessed by it and it's uh, b powered by Mercedes-Benz diesel if you if you've ever been uh, using an RV with a diesel you will definitely come to appreciate it going up mountains or going up large uh, hills and so on you'll really begin to <laughs> really appreciate a diesel and so with that thank you for watching and uh, uh, we hope that we will be able to hear from you all right God bless you bye bye